Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Pursuits Laboratory, and we are back out at Cloudbusters in the Rocket Pasture. So there is beautiful scenery around us as we're getting ready for a rocket launch today. Um, I'm here with uh, the Missouri University of Science and Technology. Uh, my fiance, off in the distance somewhere, is getting ready to launch uh, actually this rocket right here, Andromeda 2. And uh, it's her senior project, and so she's very excited to see that go. I'm gonna let a couple off the pad, but it'll be a good time. Then wedge your right in. He wrote in, but what he really meant was an O3400. So we're going to put Bill up in five, four, three, two, one. G74. Uh, 100 and, and Jude's rockets are going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, oh. oh heads up. Look out, look at that. Oh, oh. By my car. Oh. oh. All right. On pad 33, Chris Stout from Olaf, Kansas. Flying a rocket, a Mach 1 black hole. Weighs 10. 0.8 ounces on a K535. Hopefully I read that wrong. Not a sparky motor. Has a radio tracker. Altimeter deploy at 800 feet. It also has an AIM GPS on board. And we're going to push the button in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for it. Bill Deslin from uh, Ames, Iowa has got his rocket called Big Red Rocket. It's red. Wow. Uh, wild Man Kit, uh, flying on an Aerotech M1600 redline motor. He's got GPS and radio tracker and altimeter deploy. But most importantly, this is Bill's level three certification attempt. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Bill, you ready? Bill, you ready? Well, if he's not, he's still going to fly it. This is, uh, on, the, on the note on the bottom, this flight is dedicated to Joe Grubb. Joe Grubb was one of the local taps up in uh, the Ohio area and was a, a, a tap originally with Bill. And Joe, unfortunately, passed away here uh, about eight or nine months ago. Um, so this is dedicated to Joe Grubb. Bill, where are you? Bill, where are you? Over that way. He's waving. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I heard. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, the big red rocket in five, four, three, two, one. pads. Pad 33, uh, Scott Jantz from Hayesville, Kansas has a rocket called Snakebite. 
scratch built rocket on an I-245 green motor. Um, Scott's rocket's going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I have to push the button, whoops. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. That made a difference. Um, this is his level one certification flight, way cool. Flying on a H-283 Super Thunder motor. <laughs> you got an altimeter, way to go. Richard's rocket's going in five, four. Hey, Richard, are we nervous? Yeah. <laughs> just, just wondering. I didn't want to interrupt that countdown. You ready to go again? You sure? Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. That went straight up. Yay! That was beautiful. AC Worley from Coffeyville, Kansas, flying his Alien Interceptor, also a Mach 1 kit, flying a G125 Red Lightning motor. These days that are kind of a little bit of overcast uh, are awesome for red motors because they show up so well. Stacy's rocket's going in five, four, three, two, one. Charlie Harnett from Ottawa, Kansas, flying a Lock Black Brant VC. It's a three pound kit on an I 140W. Has GPS to lift. Okay, this is marked as a heads up flight. And when I asked him if it's scary, he shook his head yes. So, everybody, up out of your seats, out from under the canopies, eyes open, heads up, paying attention. Henry, are you paying attention? <laughs> All right, we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Good luck. Mike McDonald from Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Flying a rocket called the Red One, scratch built rocket, flying on a K-400. Mike's rocket's going in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Lucas, his rocket is going in five, four, three, two, one. Prop, a go. Here we go. All right, integration. Go. Recovery. Go. All right, let's rockets go for launch. Ow. Oh, yeah. Big jump. Woo. Sick. Like N is in November 6800. It's a lot of thrust. Timber deployed being at 1500 feet. Yeah, you signed it. You did. did sign it. I signed it too. Somewhere over there. Yeah. Beyond the trees. We're going to put up the uh, uh, killer queen. In five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Oh. Woo! Woo! There's the whistle. Woo! Look at that. Over pad 35, Scott uh, Hernandez from Stillwater, Oklahoma, has a rocket called Flash. Um, it's an Aerotech kit. Flying on a J90, good long burn motor. This is his level two certification flight. Scout, it's a, lot, it's a lot like Scott, but only different. Scout, sorry, my bad. And, <laughs> and we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, over on pad 35, John Utis from Purcell, Oklahoma, is flying his rocket, the Vulcanite. It's 5.8 pound rocket on a research motor. This is a simple propellant. Uh, it's a J300, a 700 newton second motor, 2.4 second burn time. It does have an ejection device with a main at 700. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. 
All right, gang, thanks for joining us today out here at Cloud Busters in Argonia, Kansas. Uh, hopefully we'll finish out today with a launch from Iowa and uh, see you guys in the next video.